we we got another question in from Josh Jones, and he says, "I've just finished high school and starting design school in the UK. The university offers language classes in the evening, and I was thinking about taking Mandarin. I'm under the impression that this could be really useful to myself as a designer in the future, and improve my job prospects." Uh, as many products are manufactured in China. Do you guys think that my assumptions are right, or would I be wasting my time learning Mandarin? Listen, you're not ever wasting your time if you're learning something. And Fair. Could his time be better utilized? Uh, I don't think so. No? I, I think that... You think Mandarin is the best utilization? I think... Well, I mean, not of all of his time. Okay. But some of his time... If he's genuinely interested in, like, it sounds like if he's even kind of, like, peeking into it, he's interested in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there are a lot of designers. I know, um, I don't know if Karim Rashid, like, I know he has an office in China now that does industrial design. I don't know that he does any industrial design in New York anymore. Like, he yeah, doesn't no, have no, a team. No, he does. Mm-hmm. Of, well. I mean, I know some of the team personally, so. Oh, Okay. Uh, because I know that he opened up a Shanghai, okay. I think, office. And then also Stefano Giovanoni has an office in China. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't think I don't think it's a bad idea. Like I just think that if it starts to consume more time because if you're starting design school, a lot of your time is going to be spent on design. Right. You know, so is it going to take away from that? Is it going to, uh, yeah, take up more time than than it should? So I think, in theory, in theory, it seems like a solid idea, right? In theory, it seems like, oh, if I can talk to the manufacturers that manufacture my product, I'll come up with better designs. Um, In practice, I don't know if it's necessarily that linear or clear. Mm -hmm. I almost feel like, there is a there there seems like there's always an interim person that has that job right. of translating and communicating that design it i i don't think it's bad i don't think it's bad that you you want to learn mandarin i don't think it's bad that you want to close that gap i think it is useful um do i think it's the most optimal like if i was going to spread a, everything that i could and figure out what I could do to improve my design education. Would I choose Mandarin as one of those options? I don't think it would be the top option. Yeah, but I but but kind of digging into this question, I think that if there is a curiosity there and a genuine curiosity and sort of a thirst for knowledge yeah. underlying this question, then pursue it. I fully support that as well. Yeah, if you just if you feel like you're interested, do it because that's the most important thing. Yeah. I also I also will say one more thing is that the world is constantly changing, constantly moving. Yeah. In 10 years, will China be the manufacturing hub? Africa is quickly becoming a very hot manufacturing hub for China itself. Mm. And as China raises as a as a world power, you know, it's slowly you know, it's it's been predicted for several years, but people people think that China will become the top world power and surpass right. America. Right. Um, you know, what What will that be now? Will China off uh, push off their manufacturing to Africa? Right. Um, yeah, as they rise to, like, sort of, you know, more substantial middle class. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's, it's very likely. Think, things to think about. You know, don't think about, like, right now. Think about 10 years out. Yeah, and also you got those earbuds from Google that'll translate everything for you. <laughs> Yeah, in 10 years out, will we need to learn new languages or will yeah. it all already be translated for us? Right, exactly. Um, yeah, good question, Josh. Hope hope that helps. 